Hello, welcome to Jackie's Whole Food Plant Based Journey. I think I'm around six months now. And um, oh, it's just wonderful to eat this way. And, um, you know, it's been up and down journey, but pretty much, uh, again, 80% of, of sticking with it the past two weeks, I think pretty much 100%, because I realized that 20%, and I've mentioned this before, was affecting um, my weight loss, and I need to lose weight, I would like to lose weight. And um, when I slipped and had those breakfast sandwiches or something once in a while, um, it it affects it. So for the past two weeks, I've done um, nothing except whole food, plant-based uh, foods. So today I wanted to show you, it's going to be a very short video, but I just made smashed chickpea salad sandwich. I love this book, Plant You, and I don't, anything I promote, I don't get any, I'm not popular enough. I don't get any, you know, what do they call residuals or something anyways um so that it's very very easy i love this book has pictures now i did modify it because i looked at it and said oh you know i haven't done food shopping so i don't have any onions in the house but you know what i said no i'm still gonna make it and put onion salt so today i made two things with some modifications and i wanted to share with you my modifications very unprofessional ungourmet um, modification so the smashed chickpea salad, obviously chickpeas. So I always, you got to always have chickpeas in the house. I mean, there's so many things you can make with ch chickpeas, including chocolate chip cookies, which I have demonstrated before. But this morning I learned a new recipe that's even better. Uh, you bake it, you put all the stuff in it, but that's, um, I'll talk about that another time. So this has, this chickpea salad, you mash up the chickpeas, you rinse, you drain them, and then you have tahini and soy milk and maple syrup, cider vinegar. And these are just like tablespoons of each. They're not much. Dijon mustard, salt, and so I said dry dill. I just use the um, seasoning dill. And then it said red onions and green onions. And I told you I just used the onion salt. Um, that's what I had. And then, oh, oh, I didn't see this. It says four slices of vegan whole wheat sourdough bread, which I don't have that, but I have other, I have Dave's Killer whole grain bread, which I love. And then it has a half a cup of spinach, one half tomato and one handful of broccoli sprouts. Well, I didn't do any of that. So here's what it looks like on the bread. Looks, it's very good. And I made what I always make. I have a million, well, I have a few videos on the berry muffins. Um, so the berry, berry muffins in this. The So here's what I made, the berry muffins. They look different every time I make them because this called for two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. And I don't have any whole wheat flour in the house, but I have almond flour, buckwheat flour, and chickpea flour. And yes, I used all three. So I use more almond flour than the, uh, the rest, but then I put some buckwheat and um, the chickpea flour. And so they look a little bit darker than they usually, oh, and then berries, frozen berries. And then you got maple syrup and baking soda, baking powder, all that good stuff. So, mm, it's very good. So if you open up, You can see what it looks like. So I like to have these because when I'm on the go and I'm going in between line dancing and drum circle or different activities, I like to have something that I can eat so I don't get too hungry. And sometimes it's my lunch. So it's a sandwich or a muffin, or sometimes I just bring some dates with me or lots of different things we can do cut up tofu that's you know prepared with some seasonings baked whatever so lots of lots of things you can do and uh and that's it so hope you're all having a good day hope you're eating healthy and um all, everything i prepare there's no oil there's no dairy there's no meat whole food plant-based no dairy no meat no 
uh, sugar, no refined sugar, no refined flour, and just whole foods that our bodies can process and eliminate and be healthy and live long. And for me, it's not about living long, which would be nice because who knows how long we all have. It's about quality of life today. I want to have energy. I want to feel good. And I don't want to have to go to the doctors for, for certain things that come up because of the food we eat. And everything stems from the food. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. And see you another time.